Guess what, kiddies? Descent OS 3 comes out tomorrow, and I have a copy to show you right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to Descent OS version 3. This is uh, the latest release that will be coming out on Wednesday, August the 29th. I'd like to thank Brian, the developer of this operating system, for giving me an opportunity to show this to you before its release. We're looking at the Descent OS website right now. And uh, right now, the web page is not showing the current state of this operating system uh, at this time, but he has assured me that he will be updating this site. From here, you can get any information that I do not cover in this review, but I will try to be as uh, thorough as I can uh, in this analysis for you guys. Uh, this is based on Ubuntu 12.04. Dot one. So once you install this, you should not have to download too many updates. And interestingly enough, the installer was fairly simple, easy to follow, so easy a child could do it. This is using the Mate desktop. You have four desktops to choose from on this uh, top panel. And this panel, in this little button here, is an application called Slingshot. This is using the same exact version in his prior release, which was Slingshot's very first version. And hopefully uh, the developer will be able to get the source code for this very first version so that he can fork it. Because uh, the current state that Slingshot is in uh, isn't quite as appealing as this is. And uh, it's very nice. Nice way to quickly access all of your applications, accessories, games games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, and system tools. I'm actually using this on my Linux Mint system. I really like this menu. I don't use it all the time, so I have at least have a choice between uh, the Mint menu or this. Uh, very nice indeed. Let me go ahead and minimize this. Something else uh, that is of interest is you can easily access your terminal by pressing the F12 key. Now, the thing is, though, the background of the terminal is transparent, so if you have any brightly lit windows in the background, that sort of thing, it's going to be hard to read that text. So you can easily right-click on the uh, terminal here and select Preferences, and then under the Appearance tab here, you can reduce the amount of transparency. Let's bring it down this far and just select Close. The next time we invoke our terminal, you can see there is a little bit of transparency there, but now the text is much easier to read. Let's go ahead and close this. On the left side, you get Docky, and you can configure your Docky right here, a quick launch to the Firefox web browser, Pigeon Internet Messaging, your volume control, and then, of course, the Infernal Waste Basket. There are a number of accessories here to get the most out of the system, but something I want to point out to you is the Beginner's Guide. Very nice that uh, Brian decided to include this. Many distributions that are touted for beginners, you know, are just lacking where it comes to documentation. And the nice thing about this was that Brian took the time to really put a uh, concise uh, instruction guide together so that you can um, easily get used to using Synaptic. Now even though this does have the Ubuntu Update Manager, um, you can also use Synaptic to update the uh, system just by pressing Reload, then mark all upgrades, and then apply. You can easily update your system by uh, using this, but also it does a nice job of removing applications or installing them. Everything you need to know about using this is located here. He included a nice pictorial tutorial and uh, I will also be doing a video on the Synaptic Package Manager. Also, if you want to install Codex and Flash, 
all of the information is right here for doing this. Now of interest, the installer did ask if I wanted to install any extra codecs and that sort of thing and I checked yes. But the thing is you can get extra codecs as well. Uh, just following this simple tutorial here. Lots of information was included, and uh, I think this is just a wonderful thing. He also gives you some tips and tricks. So if you are a beginner, even intermediate user, it would be a benefit just to have a look through this file. You get a few games. You get the events document viewer, which will pretty much open up most documents uh, that are out there. Uh, you get the uh, Eye of Mate image viewer, uh, the GIMP, the LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell, and Simple Scan. In the internet, you get the Claws Mail. Never tried Claws. I always liked Thunderbird, but then again, I understand that Thunderbird is no longer going to be in development, according to what I have read on the internet, so I can understand why Claws was a uh, place in here, but you do get the Firefox web browser, Gwibber, uh, Pigeon Transmission for downloading all of your BitTorrents, and XChat IRC. In Office, you get a simple dictionary, the full LibreOffice suite. You get Brazero, you get a music player, open shot video editor, great tool for all of you video editing novices out there. However, I still recommend using Kadian Live if you really must have it all. Uh, you get a sound recorder, VLC media player, and uh, volume control VLC, of course. Uh, we'll play most media files right out of the box for you. Uh, you get BleachBit, which is great for keeping your system clean. Clean your home folder with BleachBit and clean your root file system as root. You get a configuration editor, you get a disk usage analyzer, file browser, the GW package installer, log file viewer, and a system monitor. Quick access to all the places on your computer, your home folder, desktop, that sort of thing. And then, of course, some system tools. All of your preferences can be easily um, managed right here. And then, of course, you have a few administration tools, and that this is where you get the Synaptic Package Manager. But if you wish to um, show and install available updates through the Update Manager, this is here as well. There aren't too many themes to choose from on here, but the nice thing about using Mate is the fact that you can still go to gnomelook.org and you can download any kind of themes and you can install them. Download the tarballs and to your downloads directory, press install, and then you can add uh, new uh, controls, themes, and that sort of thing. And that is one thing that a lot of people liked about the GNOME desktop that Mate will give you. Okay, and then of course, uh, a few backgrounds to choose from. Nothing too fancy here, personally. You may want to just go and uh, take your own photos and download them here. Uh, let's have a look at this one and see what we get. Hey, that looks kind of cool, actually. And then, of course, you can adjust your fonts and that sort of thing. Bottom line, I really like what this distribution brings to the table, especially for older 32-bit hardware. But you don't necessarily have to run it on older hardware. You can run it on newer hardware, and if you have more than 4 gigs of RAM, opening the Synaptic Package Manager and searching for a PAE kernel is easy. And uh, that's exactly what I did to, ins to run this in VirtualBox. I actually downloaded a uh, virtualized kernel for this demonstration and installing the kernel was a snap. Then just reboot and then it automatically booted into the new kernel. I recommend that you go to descentos.org and get your free copy as soon as he releases it, which should be tomorrow. Mm -hmm.